Hi, it's Mr. Jadj. This is episode seven of Draw With Me. You are going to need a bowl for this or something round, a pencil and a pen, preferably one with a fine tip. So you're going to draw around your circular objects very carefully. So you're now going to split your circle up into equal parts. As you can see here, I'm first splitting it down the center. And if you want, you can actually measure how wide your circle is and you can plot exactly halfway, but it doesn't really matter. You can roughly guess where the halfway mark is. Okay, and then I'm splitting it, going right through that middle section to make sure it's equal. And as you can see, I've now got eight parts. I think this has to be my favorite draw with me because it was the same action I kept repeating over and over again, and I found it really therapeutic. And as you can see here, I'm actually tracing around my first segment. I went straight down and I went over my arc. What I am going to do next is I'm going to go back to that center of the circle. There you go. And you can see I'm kind of drawing a line at an angle there. And I stop just before I get to that arc. Right here, you could turn the paper around. It might make it a bit easier for you. And you'll be able to see in a moment what I've done. So where I've stopped, I've just curved that line round. And as you can see, I'm starting again. Starting from that center point, really close, but not touching. Now this activity, I feel like it requires a lot of concentration. And if you're doing this in a nice quiet room, or you're listening to some nice quiet music, it really does help um, keep your concentration for this activity. As you can see, I'm repeating the same process over and over again until I get to that pencil line. Okay, so like I said, it is a repetitive process. So like we did before, we're going to trace over that line and follow the arc around. And remember, each and every time we start from the center and work outwards, so we go back to our center point, we slightly come out at an angle, stop before we get to the arc, and then go round. I'll start again to that center point, then round. And you'll just need to repeat this over and over again until you get to the end. And it is really amazing when you get to the end. Your eyes might hurt a little bit, but it is incredible to see the kind of design that you create just by repeating this really simple process. So I am going to speed up the rest of the video. Remember, if you have a go at this, to tweet us your pictures at Woody Arts, and we would love to see how you've got on. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Bye.